Hello there. So I did not ask for your free advice. I don't want your free advice. Um, for the entire duration of my time on the internet, I have never, not once, wanted anyone's opinion or health advice because it's unwanted, because I do not fucking want it. Do you understand that? Do you comprehend that? I got it. You didn't want it because you didn't want it and you never wanted it. And because you never wanted it, you never wanted it. I got it. Totally understood. Dude, Marissa is the worst. Absolutely the worst. I don't think there's a single other person in this community that is worse than Marissa. Not because I don't like, not because her ideology is bad, but the condescending way she talks and the way she looks down upon almost every single person she talks to, almost as if they're like nine years old or less. This woman is literally impossible to listen to without like getting upset, okay? Let's listen to the free advice. Free advice. At 5'10", 266 pounds, I was morbidly obese. I had a Widowmaker heart attack at 56. Don't end up like me. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad advice. And this person is basically just saying like, hey, you're young. You you still have time to like correct this mistake. You, you can still do this before it's too late. And then she replies with, I don't want your advice, which is really crazy because... Dude, Marissa's entire purpose of being on TikTok and in general on social media is to get attention. She said as much in multiple videos. And what's really, really insane is that, so you just don't want anybody to comment on any of your shit. Just say that. Just say you want attention without anybody saying anything to you. Disable the comments because it doesn't make sense. People have commented on this woman's post before and said, wow, you know what, Marissa? You're so pretty, you're so gorgeous. And I've seen the reply. This woman made an entire video claiming, I don't need to. I don't need you to tell me I'm pretty. I know I'm pretty. You don't have to say that. Is this your way of telling me like this backhanded compliment? And I'm just saying like, dude, you can't even compliment this woman without this woman being upset or mad at you, which is insane. I don't know why anybody watches this woman at this point. Everything she puts out is extremely condescending. She makes zero sense. And I'm gonna explain why this makes no sense. Because if you are sitting here and you're telling me that you want to make videos, content for the internet, and then you don't like it when other people reply to your stuff, which doesn't make any sense because your entire purpose is to get attention. Why the fuck are you demonizing anybody that comments back? I just don't understand. It could be the nicest, the most beautiful, most wholehearted comment that you can ever get, and she'll still take it the wrong way. This woman is literally just a hypocrite personified opinion or health advice because it's unwanted because i do not fucking want it do you understand that do you comprehend that like who talks to people like that like i get it it's just a phantom person that's on the internet but jesus man hitting somebody with that do you understand that do you get that are you do you, does that go through your head like karen 101 speakage right here dude like you, how do you even get this dialect where did you acquire this particular way of speaking bro because like you had to go to like literal karen school in order to acquire Acquire this way of speaking. Do you have enough literacy skills to understand what the fuck I'm saying? Damn, dude, it's just, it's way too hard for no reason. Can you imagine somebody, somebody's mom hit this woman up and was like, hey, Marissa, I'm concerned for your health. I just don't, I wish that you wouldn't go down the same path as me. You gotta lose weight. And then this, <laughs> and then she hits that person with the get away from me. I didn't ask for your advice, even though I literally have comments enabled on my shit and I'm going to reply to your comment, which is going to make other people want to reply to my comment even more to this. Like you're literally incurring more stuff by doing this. You understand? It's like the person going, don't do this. Do not. I hate it. Do you not think that people are going to look at that and go, I'm going to do it harder now. I'm going to do it way harder. That's literally the same thing here. Like if you're a white girl and your parents tell you black guys are disgusting and bad and then you go, I don't care, mom. I don't care what she say. That's why I'm going to go have sex with Ty Tyrone because he's black like you know how many times I've seen that I've seen that a whole bunch of times and you know what's really sad too is that if you think dating black dudes or having sex with black dudes in order to break cultural norms is is like a good thing you're not even doing it for a good reason you're doing it to spite your family you're can you're you're actually agreeing with 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 racism at that point because you don't actually want to have sex with these black guys because you like them no you're sexing you're having sex with them out of spite for your family and because they're black, which is not the point. It's not the point, okay? It's just not the point, okay? Anyway.
And also, I don't give a fuck about you. True. I don't care about your stats. I don't give a shit. Dude, I, I don't even know why this is even relevant. Like, I don't care about your stats. I don't care about you. Yet, I'm going to reply to your comment really, really hard, by the way. I'm just going to say random, disgusting, terrible, <laughs> terrible stuff and tell you that I don't care about you. Like, who is this woman, bro? Why is she so damn hard on everything she does? Because guess what? Your body does not affect me, and I don't give a fuck about your body. Just like you shouldn't give a fuck about my body. But your entire TikTok page is literally just you talking about your body. Like, you can't... Dude, you can't make videos talking about your struggle with being fat or, like, how you have problems getting boyfriends or how fat phobia negatively affects you and not expect people to look at that and go, huh, so let me make a comment discussing why I disagree with this and then you make a video claiming that you shouldn't comment on people's bodies. Why are you making videos on your body then? That doesn't make any, that doesn't make any sense. That'd be like a guy having a whole YouTube channel dedicated to solving puzzles. Like it's just it's a big YouTube. He has a big POV camera, okay, where it's like scroll. It's all down, and he's like putting the pieces together. And somebody comments like, "Wow." Your puzzle solving skills are impeccable. I love your ability to deductively solve. If one piece doesn't fit in one spot, I like how you find another piece that does fit. And that person goes, you fucking disgusting, horrible person. How dare you comment on my puzzle solving skills? That's gross. I can't believe anybody. You, you just a murderous, disgusting. How dare you comment on my, why are you making videos about it then? Like, what is the purpose of you making these videos and being upset when people comment on said video? Why are you doing that? It's like you're literally setting yourself up for failure. Like, you, you, she's literally becoming the very thing she swore to destroy. Like, if why is it okay for you to comment on somebody else's comment, commenting on what you did, but it's not okay for them to do it? You're literally doing the same exact thing as this other person, except you're doing it in video format. So if you don't want people commenting on your shit, delete, I don't know, delete, either delete the comments or just completely have them disabled. I, okay, I don't know. You're literally doing the same thing. So again, for the millionth fucking time, stop giving me unwanted health advice. Stop giving me unsolicited health advice. And, you know what's really interesting too is like I feel like Marissa just expects people to look through her back catalog of videos and just see that. And like I love this right here, dude. Look at this. Replying to Rusty blocked. <laughs> it's fucking great. Just fucking awesome, bro. Blocked. Just blocked, dude. Get that ass banned. Fucking insane, dude. Like, I, I, are you expecting this person, Rusty? to like look through your back catalog of hundreds if not thousands of videos and see that one video where you said you don't want unhealthy un unwanted health advice like how is it, how how are new viewers supposed to know that you don't want unwanted health advice? And by the way, that doesn't actually solve the problem, by the way. It's the internet. People are going to do things, okay? And if you have the option for your comments to be... If you're posting on TikTok, that alone is going to incur some form of judgment, okay? Like you're posting publicly, right? Am I wrong? Okay, whatever, bro. Stop telling me about your own fucking body because I didn't ask. I don't... But you... <laughs> But it's not about whether or not you didn't. It's not about whether or not you asked or not. You post videos of you. Dude, okay. I didn't show the video because I was like scrolling through Marissa's shit for like the first five or six videos, right? She had a video because somebody said put a bra on in her video, right? So she replied to that comment. And by the way, this just kind of shows you the level, like the, the, the where she is in, in, where she is in her mind, right? She says she doesn't like when people comment on her stuff, yet she's so adamant about replying to comments so quickly. Anyway, so she posted a video when somebody said, put your bra on, and I shit you not, you probably still find it on her channel, on her, on her page. She literally put the phone down and just started going like this with her boobs. Like she was like picking them up and throwing them places and stuff like that. And she was like throwing them around and it was crazy. Uh, I didn't, I didn't want to show you it because I don't know if that's like, TOS or not, but there was a lot of, it was a lot. It was so much. I, I was actually really surprised how far they were able to stretch out. It's almost kind of like she took them and it was like, you know, when you pull gum apart and it's like that thin layer, it kind of seemed like that, like she was pulling them and it just like went so far. I don't know how, why you would even want to do that. Like if somebody says put on a bra and you don't want to, the best thing there is just not to reply to the comment, right? Instead, not only did you not reply, not only did you reply to the comment, but you made a whole video throwing boobs around. 
Re really way to, way to show them, right? Really, really, really showing it off. Unsolicited health advice. Stop telling me about your own fucking body because- Yeah, that's- it's such a crazy thing to say, like, stop telling me about your own body when you are literally doing that, Marissa. Can you not, like, look in the mirror when you say any of this stuff? You're literally doing the exact thing that this person is doing, except you're worse because you're the inception of that. You- the other comments wouldn't ensue if you didn't post the videos talking about your body. Because I didn't ask, I don't want to hear it. This is but we didn't ask to see your videos, yet they're there. Okay, whatever, uh, Mom. No diet culture zone. And this is diet culture talk, and you are not allowed in my community. Dude, can you imagine somebody saying, like, yeah, you know, I had a heart attack when I was, like, 56, and then they go, "This, that's diet culture talk. Okay, Marissa. Okay, whatever you say, bro. Whatever you say, Marissa. Obviously, this woman is very intolerant, and she... <laughs> I don't know why anybody watches her at this point. This is, like, this woman is intolerant of almost every type of comment, dude. I, I don't think, I think if you said, I think if you just put a heart in her comment section, she would probably reply to it and talk shit to you. I am so sorry that I am the one that has to teach you this, but guess- I don't want you to have a heart attack, true. I mean, this is, at the point that we're going right now, this is basically a speed run to see who can get blocked fastest. I mean, that's really what it is, right? Like, you're not even commenting anything really that serious. I just don't, I don't want you to have a heart attack and this woman is hooking on to that shit. Crazy. What? Did you know that people who are not fat can also have heart attacks? This is such a bad point, dude. I'm sick of people saying this shit. It's like somebody saying, did you know that if you're not driving a car, you can still get into car accidents? Yes, but the chances of you getting into a car accident when you're in a car are severely increased because you're in a car. Am I wrong? Like, I don't know why these people, like, are you not looking at the averages here, dude? I don't care that thin people can also contract heart attacks. I know they can. I, I, duh, fucking duh. I know everybody can contract everything. But the chances of fat people having those same things are greatly enhanced. Greatly enhanced. And I've heard this argument before where they go, oh, yes. Fat people are more likely to have heart attacks, but they're also way more likely to survive them. And then you go, uh, like, okay, hold on. But then you do research and then you realize, wait a minute. Yes, they're more likely to survive them because they're getting these heart attacks in their fucking 20s, in their early 20s. And then the people that are ordinarily getting heart attacks are like 50 plus. So you're thinking, yeah, no shit. If somebody is 22 and they get a heart attack, even if they're 400 pounds, they're going to survive it because their body is more elastic and they're going to be able to bounce back more efficiently. But when you're 54 or 78 and you get the heart attack and you've lived through your entire life day in, day out, you know, taking on that trauma, of course, your body's not going to be able to bounce back as efficiently because you're 70 fucking eight years old. Duh. I, I, it's such a crazy point. Like, yes, of course, then people get heart attacks too. But it's such a dumb point. It, it, it's irrelevant. It doesn't prove anything. Like I said before, people in people not driving cars also get in car accidents. But the people that are in cars are more likely to get in car accidents because they're literally driving. Who are not fat can also have heart attacks. And I love that she... <laughs> I love that she says that shit. And then she, she like recoils back as if it was a point at all. Like you didn't say anything like this was not a this, this was not a own. This was not a like, oh, checkmate moment. No, 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 sis. This was literally, this was a diss on you. You didn't say anything. <laughs> Did you know that skinny people and thin people can also have heart attacks? If you didn't know that, then you should probably go to a better school. <laughs> You don't need to go to, bro, this woman, bro, she's so condescending and she's just, she's just so wrong. It's just, I love it when people speak so confidently about something and then they're just wrong. I just love it. But you know, the funny thing, right? For somebody like Marissa is that she'll never know she's wrong because she's like annexed so much of her audience by like banning everybody that disagrees with her even slightly. And then also she's like put herself in a bubble of such such restraint that even uh, the simplest outside opinion triggers her to, uh, to such a degree to just have a mental breakdown and like c collapse into her room for literally days and weeks. I've seen the videos for her crying about this, by the way. So I can't, like, all this is going to show is that this woman is ca incapable of taking any type of criticism. Literally. I don't even think that this woman could take a compliment. But she could take that burger in her mouth. <laughs> Newsflash, if you didn't want me to have a heart attack, then you wouldn't be commenting and stressing me out 
by your unwanted health advice. I just love how Marissa externalizes all of her problems. It's just too easy for her to look at the problems that she has and then instead of going, what can I do to fix my problem? She instead goes, what can society do? What can ever, <laughs> what can everybody else do to fix my problem? I have mental health problems. I can't handle the internet. I don't know how to like handle comments. I don't know how to handle when people say mean things to me. What can everybody else do to alleviate my problem? It's not, it, 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 a very simple solution would be get off the internet, practice mental health, go to the gym. I don't know, have a better diet talk to more friends and family, pick up some hobbies, go to work. I don't know. There's plenty of things that a person could do in order to alleviate these problems that they could, they can, they could solely control themselves. Instead for Marissa, she seems to always look outside of herself and see that what everybody else can do. And that's terrible because you're never going to get anybody else. To, like it's the internet first and foremost, dude. Okay. And the internet is a great place. It's an amazing place, but you also find things like two girls, one cup. Or you find disgusting people on the internet that are farting on cakes, which in, well, I guess is not too bad. But you know what I'm saying. Like you find disgusting content on the internet. So there's a dichotomy to it. There's people that are amazing and there's people that are terrible. And for Marissa, those two things are like simultaneous, right? It doesn't matter if people have the good intentions or the context behind being nice to her. She deems it as always bad. So... She's never going to actually solve this problem because the internet's never going to solve this problem because she's dealing with this as like everybody is the problem. So it's never going to be it's never going to be solved. It's never going to be solved. She should just stay off the internet. I, I fundamentally believe for somebody like Marissa, she should never be on the internet, dude. Never. This woman cannot handle it. And it's obvious she can't handle it by given the fact that how many times she replies to comments so incredibly easily and then blames all her problems on everybody else. Man. How old is Marissa, by the way, dude? I swear she didn't look like this three months ago. When I when I did that video on her three, four months ago, she did not look like this, bro. Is she what she, she have filters on? Is this not a filter? What is going on, dude? She looks like she's almost 50. I'm not even trying to be mean, dude. She aged a lot. If you actually cared about me having a heart attack or not, guess what? You wouldn't be bothering me. Yeah, don't don't stress her out, guys. I mean, obviously, that's that's the real problem. Not the extra weight. I don't know how much Marissa weighs. She gotta be in the threes at this point. Uh, forget about that. You know, it's not her fault. It's obviously not her fault. It's the comments. It's the random comment of, I don't want you to have a heart attack, or I think you look good today, or <laughs> literally anything, honestly. Like, it's uh, almost anything would trigger this woman beyond belief. So that's the reason why if she did have a heart attack, it wouldn't be from the weight. It wouldn't be from any of that. No, no, no. It would be because of the comments. And you might be thinking, wait a minute, David, if the comments are triggering her so heavily to where she might or might not have a heart attack, wouldn't the solution then be to remove yourself from the internet? Yes, 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 you are right. But that's not more, that's not more what Marissa is going to do. No, she's going to stay on the internet. She's going to do her fucking videos and she's going to continuously complain because it's your fault. It's not her fault. It's never her fault. It can never be her fault because this woman is incapable of taking accountability. You would be leaving me alone. Right, guess what? You wouldn't be bothering me. And you, you know what's interesting too is I see this. It's like the Streisand effect where you tell somebody not to do something and in the process of doing of not doing it, right, you get more attention for it. So like for instance, her saying stop saying mean things to me is only going to make people do more mean things to her, right? It's, it's literally like ignore them. That's what it is. It, that could be a solution too, but she just keeps feeding into it. She's literally feeding it over and over and over again dude and she's complaining too harder and harder and it's like it's, it's a never-ending loop for her you would be leaving me alone I hate but i don't believe talks. this i just believe you're fat phobic True. and you just think that every fat person is like moments away from dying i don't think man this woman is just the way she talks man the way she's I don't, i'm not a big fan of tone policing but there's a there's certain ways you talk to people and i just fundamentally disagree if you have an audience okay if you have people that like you or people that want to be around you by the way i love everybody here thank you for being here um make sure you subscribe i just think it's probably not the best idea to talk to everybody like you want to tell me not to have a heart attack well maybe you shouldn't even be commenting because that is actually going to make me have a heart attack faster maybe did you go to school did you go to a good school because it kind of seems like your literacy is really impaired like why are you talking like that why are you saying that dude this could be a person that potentially wants to be around you and instead you're like demonizing them but guess what? Everyone is moments away from dying. Such a bad way of looking at it, dude.
she's right in the sense of like at any moment anything could happen and you could die 100 percent. i mean life is literally like the way i like to look at life is like it's just a perpetual bomb ticking right at any point it could just explode but hopefully it doesn't right and for you to say I, at any moment you could die, therefore it doesn't matter if I'm fat or it doesn't matter if I'm obese or it doesn't matter if I have a heart attack now because I could die at any point in time. That is the worst way of doing anything because if you think like that, then nothing matters at that point. Why do you save money? Why do you live in an apartment? Why do you wear clothes? Why do you have wash your hair? Why do you do anything if you think at any moment or your life is so incredibly valueable because at any moment you could just die? Why would anything matter at that point? Like, you know what I'm talking about? It, I don't get it. So it, it's just bullshit. Like, the way that she's looking at it is literally in it's it's inconceivable this is not a real way of looking at life okay and i'm sick of people saying this bullshit because it's not true okay why would you ever save money it's like somebody saying like because you have you don't have all the money you shouldn't you shouldn't save money okay yeah definitely literally anyone can die from a fucking heart attack not just fat people so leave fat people alone and stop causing us harm true stop causing us harm yeah that comment of somebody that comment of that person saying, I just want you to be healthy. I just want you to be, you know, no heart attack is harm. It's harm. It's harm, dude. You know, I... Welcome back to Shit Marissa Says. I'm going to just complain about a bunch of people while I'm currently shitting. True. I mean, Marissa is just, she's just such a beautiful person. She's such a beautiful person, dude. I mean, what, think about this, right? You're never going to see this type of content anywhere else, dude. More, somebody sitting on the toilet taking a big fat shit while they complain about people. I mean, it's... Uh, is there anything better? Is there anything better than this? I mean, think about how real this person is, how organic they are to give us the full display of, of bodily autonomy, right? Busting it down in the toilet while talking shit. I mean, there's nothing better. So, please enjoy. Please, yeah. So I just. I hope that in the video there's not like random farting or ass busting, because that tends to happen when you're taking a shit. So I hope that's not what something we see here. People, well, I'm currently shitting. Dude, she has to be using filters, right? How old is Marissa, dude? What is she like? 32, 33, 34? Damn, bro, she be looking like she went through like nine kids, bro. You know, like she was a pilgrim or something like that, and she had to just spew out kids because that was her job like she had gone through raising multiple children and instead i don't think she has any i think that i don't even know why she looks so incredibly deteriorated so please enjoy uh, so i just woke up but i have some food for thought today um based on some hate comments that i've received since last night or that i've read since last night so one is some lady who deleted her comment but she said you i don't understand the point of this post I'm sorry, do you have no fucking critical thinking skills Bro. to, like, go to the sound and then see that I'm doing the same thing that a bunch of other people are doing? Why is it, why is it that when I do a funny thing with a sound, it's not funny? Dude, she has such main character syndrome, dude. She can't help but to believe that everything needs to be revolved around her as if somebody could genuinely be confused. And instead, she just immediately goes with, why is it always me? Why is why am I always the one that's misunderstood? Why am I? As if nobody else is misunderstood, right? As if nobody else has complaints put at them or whatever the fuck, dude. Marissa has literal main character syndrome. And it really, really think about this, right? She's complaining about somebody making a comment on a dancing video that she did saying, I don't know what the point of this video is. So she sits here, literally, on the toilet complaining about that. I mean, it's just beautiful. I mean, this, you know, there's nothing else to say about that. It's just, this is just pure, unadulterated beauty. But when, like, other people do it who have millions of followers, it's funny for them. Why is that? Certain people could do certain things and other people cannot do those things. And I'll give you an example. Like, could I do a funny little dance and start, like, dancing around wearing a crop top with a snatched waist with my butt cheeks hanging out dancing to Doja Cat or something like that? Could I do that? Probably. Would people like it? I don't know. Probably not. I don't think so. Would you guys like it? But the point I'm making is certain people can do certain stuff and then other people doing that stuff is probably not okay or, like, people just don't like it because you're just not that guy. And that's all right because you just because you're not that guy here, you might be that guy in another spot in town, right? Or like you could do other things that are probably better there. You know what I'm talking about? Like, what if you saw like Ben Shapiro yesterday twerking to I don't know SZA or some Megan? You know what I'm talking about, dude? Would people would people be like, oh, this is great? No, his fan base would probably like destroy him for that. The point I'm making is, 
Certain people could do certain things, but like maybe you just don't do those things, right? It's okay to not do that stuff. Like understand your place, understand how people see you. That's the main thing here. I don't know why she gets so upset about this. It's such a book, such a crazy ass thing to even get upset about. People do it who have millions of followers. It's funny for them. It's like somebody saying like, I don't know why when my cat licks itself, I don't know why nobody cares about that. But when I do it, it's just weird. Like, I don't know why so many people think that when I do it is weird because you're just not that guy. Why is that? And then she also like commented on another thing like below saying that I just want attention. Um, hello, I'm on the internet and I'm posting videos. If I didn't want attention in that manner, then I wouldn't be on the internet posting videos. How can she say this and then also say the other things like, oh, yeah, I'm on the like this. This is such an anomaly to me, dude. I don't know how she doesn't rewatch her videos and realize that she's saying like contradictory things. You're on the internet and you're entire. she's saying it like her words, not mine. Her purpose on the internet is to acquire attention. But anytime she's ever given attention, bad or good, she consistently calls it out as a problem. And that is going to happen if you want attention on the internet. That's literally the entire purpose is getting attention and you don't like it. So what are, what are you doing exactly? How can you say that you want attention, but when you get it, you don't like it? So what are you doing? Why are you here? How can you say both of these things simultaneously? They can't be true. You can't just keep saying this shit, Marissa. How many times have I watched videos of you saying, watch my videos, but don't say mean things. And even the nice things you call out, it's inconceivable. You can't have it both ways. Don't, why are, why, 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 why are we watching you then? You can't have it both ways, Marissa. If I didn't want attention in that manner, then I wouldn't be on the internet posting videos. Everyone on the internet who is posting videos wants attention. Yeah. Like, I don't understand what your point is here. Man, sometimes, sometimes when you post videos on the internet and people watch those videos and they see that there might be some cognitive dissonance or it just doesn't make sense, right? And they don't understand sometimes. Maybe some people just don't understand the point of the video, right? I think it's okay for that person to comment and go, hey, what the fuck is this, right? Sometimes I get comments on my videos where people go, David, you you stopped the video too many times. David, you stopped the video too many times and you talk for too long and I don't like that. And I go, that's a that's a valid that's a valid claim. That does that makes perfect sense, right? And I always think like I'm just not that guy, right? I pause the video a lot and I interrupt and I talk and things like that. There are other people that don't do that and I'm sure there's plenty of compilation videos of people just doing certain things and you can watch that, right? That's fine. I don't do that here. But the point I'm making is sometimes people say things and that's all right. Like there is a level of why is this happening? What is going on here? And that's okay. For Marissa to see that stuff and go, what the fuck? Like, do, do you have any critical thinking skills at all? Like, what are you talking about? Like, it's so gross. Like, how can you call up somebody's intellect so heavily when you can't even see that you're missing some of it by what you're saying right now? You're literally contradicting your own claim in your own video. Like, or is it that you're so proud that you don't post videos? <sighs> Dude, the way this person is looking at it is is so is so dumb, bro. Like, so if somebody doesn't make videos on the internet, they should feel proud because they don't make videos on the internet because they're not cons they're not conforming themselves to the attention that they may or may not get. But like, you're you're not acknowledging this person could have had an actual claim. Like, all right, bro because everyone who does just wants to like is that where it's coming from i just i don't get it i don't get it like look at the sound if you like fucking have enough forethought in your fucking frontal lobe to fucking look at a sound to comprehend the f the joke dude and if you don't get the joke then you don't get the joke Dude, it's too much. She's going way too hard on a random person that asks a simple question. I don't know what this is for. And you go this hard? This hard, bro? Yeah, like what are you what are you doing? Like you don't have enough thought in your mental your your frontal lobe to click on this. What are you talking about? You're making it seem like this person is like mentally challenged when in reality it could just be, hey, you make a lot of these types of contents and now you're not doing that and you're making this other type of content. I'm just wondering what the point of that is, but in a very simplified term. And then instead of going, oh, I just like doing the sound bite or I just wanted to dance or I just wanted to do this and I thought it'd be cool. Instead, instead you go, are you fucking dumb? Are you dumb? Did you go to school? Do you have any type of critical thinking skill? Like what, Marissa? Do you understand that there are levels of uh, 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 of how you, 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 you know how people get upset when police officers 
are in situations and they they instead of taking the situation and lowering the temperature they instead like make things worse that's what you're doing right now like you it's like you like a guy having a problem not getting his change back and then the cop just showing up and shooting the guy that's you that's what you're the cop shooting the guy because he didn't get his change back that's you okay so when you go this hard, it it takes a lot of people and they look at this and they go, dude, is this woman really getting upset over somebody asking her a simple question? And you go, yes, people are not going to watch you anymore because that's crazy. That's literally insane. If you don't get the joke, it's not meant for fucking you. That's okay. Okay. All right, Marissa. You know, I don't think it was that deep, but all right. If you don't get the joke, you're not the target audience. It's cool. that simple. And why are you doing it for Because of the fit. Like what? We're on the internet. Why else would I be posting videos? Also think about that she's taking a shit right now. Butthole out on the toilet, blowing it up, okay? Like, she's she's out here doing that. She said it, not me. She blown that shit up. I don't even want to know uh, what the smell might even consist of in this room. Sometimes uh, when she opens her mouth, I think she might be getting a little taste of it. Yes, it's for fun. Yes, it's to be silly. Yes, it's to hopefully make money one day. But it's the main reason is for other people's attention and entertainment. Right. So other people's attention and entertainment. So did you not think that when that attention and entertainment part comes in, that there could be people that are in those groups that think, wait, I don't understand this or had questions about it or maybe disagreed with it or wanted to have a conversation about it or you just didn't think that anybody would do that? How can you sit there and say that these people lack critical thinking skills while you say all of this how can you call them out on all this shit and then you're just like men mentally lapsed on all that stuff like duh uh, yeah <laughs> yeah totally true duh true man that's great honestly that should be a sound bite right other here. people's attention and entertainment sound bite like duh this is why i say i hate fucking people damn bro just off the deep end so fucking quick bro because you got a comment of somebody a comment that somebody said, I don't understand this, and you go, this is why I don't like people? God damn. That's hard. That's real fucking hard, bro. Damn, bro. Real. That'd be like me going, oh, man. I was at the grocery store, and there was a woman, and she bought bananas. That's why I hate. Women suck. Women, all women suck. I hate them. They're gross. They're disgusting. Egg sac bleeding is nasty. I hate it. That's like the same thing. You're going too hard. Way too hard. Off of a comment? How many comments you get? How many, like, fucking 30 a video or something like that? Why? Man, this woman's... Because it seems like these types of people just migrate towards me, and I don't understand why. Um, but I fucking hate these kinds of people. Dude. These people are migrating. What do you mean these people, first of all? That didn't even seem like it was a bad question. It, Bro, this woman, dude, she... I couldn't... If this is what she thinks of a bad comment. If people if people concerned for your health and people that are complimenting you are bad comments... Dude, I don't think you've experienced enough of the internet, dude. I've seen literal people get comments of like, Hey, your mouth... Your mouth look... Your mouth will look real good... If my meat was in there, haha, your mom's not a virgin. Damn, your mom looked like Steve Harvey. You know, like that's you, th bad comments, really bad comments, or even something worse. Like, hey, you, I wanna, you know, if you were a woman, maybe, hey, I wanna suck the dick of the last guy that had sex with you. Like, that happens. You know, there are plenty of really disrespectful. These comments are light. This, these comments are not nothing. These comments are nothing, dude. I literally had a nine year old tell me that I look like the black stuff in between a controller like you know the, the grooves the grooves in between the controller he said i look like that the dirt the hand dirt he said i look like that okay a nine-year-old playing call of duty who shouldn't even play playing the game that is the worst comment i've ever gotten to somebody that is absolutely the worst that or somebody said i look like a humpback seagull i don't know what that is i don't know what that is but somebody said i look like it i don't even know he didn't even know what i looked like i was i was a mic and he said i look like a humpback seagull that's the worst okay not somebody going hey marissa you look really cute today hey marissa i don't understand this video hey marissa i'm concerned for your health those are literally a tier great people comments okay a those are a tier comments and you determine those to be bad and now you hate everybody which is insane, bro. I mean, it's like, what, you know, what, there's no winning with this woman. Towards me, and I don't understand why. Um, but I fucking hate these kinds of people. 
There was another hate comment that I, oh yeah. That's not a hate, stop defining this as a hate comment. That's not a hate comment. That was a question. So the video that I did of someone telling me not to wear a bra. Yeah, that's a video I was talking about earlier, dude. She like threw out boobs and she was tossing them around and shit like that, bro. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. And then the first video that I did that I replied with like, you know, shaking them. Guess what? It was more than shaking, bro. That shit was crazy. She literally like picked, I, I didn't even know you could do that. Like she picked them up and she was like fucking throwing them around and shit like that. She had so many of them. It was crazy. It's taken down for bullying and I can't appeal it, which makes no fucking sense because it's not bullying. I'm reacting by dancing. That's a crazy way of looking at it, dude. I don't think it, I don't know. I don't know what, what TOS looks like on TikTok. I know it's very, very strict, but I, I can tell you right now from the video that I saw, that shit was, <sighs> dude, that shit wasn't like crazy. Like if somebody hits you with a put on a bra and then your comeback to that is throwing your boobs around to i don't even know what it was i don't even know what the music video was dude that's crazy like how, how did you go from like that's like a b c and then you went to fucking g a b c d e f and then all the g f you know like you were going all over the map dude forget about taking it to zero to a hundred you went to like zero to six thousand you you go too hard for no reason dude you didn't have to throw away boobs like that yet the person who commented saying put on a bra because you got to understand, like, the circumstances here, okay? If somebody comments something, it's words, it's text, right? You making a video, a, like, 30-second video uh, to a comment and then having the video be you toss boobs, you don't realize that that's going to be... You don't think TikTok's going to look at that like, what the fuck? What the hell? You know, like, there's a, there's a big difference. There's a big difference. There's a big difference to that. Yeah, their comment is still there. Yeah. So they're allowed to be fat phobic. Oh, man. Yet I'm not allowed to respond to the dance. You weren't dancing, dude. Why? Nobody would ever define that as a dance. Like, nobody nobody ever went to the club and saw a woman at the club picking up breasts and just tossing them out like that. No, I've never seen that in my life. That Why would you... You can say it was a dance all you want, dude, but I don't know what culture you're from or what type of genre of the earth you are at where that's seen as, like, a dance... That's not a dance, okay? I wish I could show you the video. Maybe you did see it. I don't know, man. Maybe you already seen it. I don't know, bro. Whatever, dude. What the fuck ever, bro. And that video gets taken down? Make it make fucking sense. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. It does not make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Okay. Do I hate people? Okay. Okay, and then the last thing I'm going to bitch about today. Again, she's taking a shit. I just want to point it out. Okay, on my shit Marissa says, oh, well, I shit um, adventure is people trying to insult me dude how long are you in the fucking bathroom for dude like i understand sometimes when you're busting it down it might be like that chill relaxed time dude but she's really having a hard time here i don't even know how you could have a proper bowel movement under all the stress and it's like mm, thank you for showing me that you also cannot critically fucking think because people insulted you <sighs> if you think that i look like the baby reindeer lady that's crazy as fuck bro that's insane. That's, damn, bro. Damn, bro. People saying that she looked like the baby reindeer. Do you know what that is? That's like the that's the Netflix show about the woman stalker. Uh, I don't think that she looks like the baby reindeer woman, dude. I mean, actually, when I was watching that show, I only watched like the first two, three episodes. Dude, that woman was nice. Like, I mean, she was crazy. Maybe I just dated a lot of really crazy women, but uh, yeah, she seemed okay. I mean, she was a little bit obviously weird, but uh, Marissa kind of fits a lot of those stereotypical like crazy person attitudes, you know? Like, I wouldn't say she looks like her. It might be just because they're fat. Kind of like how, <laughs> kind of like how uh, sometimes people go like, yo, you know you. You know who you look like, dude? Like, let's say, for instance, you're just like a casual black guy. And let's say for hypothetically, you look like uh, Idris Elba. And they go, you know who you you kind of look like Michael Duncan. You look like that that Michael Duncan guy. And then you go, oh, really? That's really weird. That you, Michael Duncan. They go, yeah, you know what? You kind of look like uh, Chadwick Boseman, too. And you go like, but those two guys are like completely different. Like, those two guys don't look at all like, they don't look anything alike. You know? That'd be like that. Or, like, if you were Asian, and they were like, hey, you look like K-pop. You know, you look like K-pop. And you go, but I'm Indian. You know, it's like that. Um, it, might just be, it might just be because she's fat, honestly speaking. Like, I've had a few times where people just kind of thought, they were like, hey, David, you look like 
Brad Pitt. And I always go, I know. I know. I know. I look like Brad Pitt in the 90s. I know. No, but I've had people mistake me for other white people that were in the same room or whatever. I remember when I went to high school, there was like four black. Sorry. There were four white people in my entire high school. I would get mistaken for those kids all the time. And those kids would be like three or four grades lower than me sometimes. Then one, you... If you think that I look like the baby reindeer lady, then one, you like your check your eyesight because no, I don't. True. Thank you for just telling me I look like some fat person <laughs> when we don't look alike. Like great, that just shows that you're a moron. True. But to mainly to the comments that are like calling me ugly. Damn. Saying that I look bad. Damn. Okay, for you. I look ugly for you. Damn, I Marissa has a way with words. Yeah, I look ugly for you. If somebody's com man, dude, I get it, dude. I really, I really understand this. But this is such a dumb way of looking at it, dude. If somebody hits you with a "Hey, you busted," and you go, "Yeah, I might be busted to you." What are you talking about, dude? That's not a good way of responding to that claim. You better strike back on that shit, bro. But does this sit there? I mean, I kind of understand it. It's like if somebody was like, do I look good today? And you look, you, know, you look all right compared to yesterday. Like, wait, hold up now. What are you trying to say? And I'm like, what do you, what do you mean by yesterday? Like, do I not look good every day? You know, to a certain degree, it can be a little bit offensive, but this is a very weird way of like having somebody say something to you. And then you hit that person with a for you. Okay, for you. This is like somebody going, I know you are, but what am I? I look ugly for you. Damn. I look bad for you. I wonder if she, I know she lives in an apartment complex. Do you think anybody's like living next to her, hearing her busting that shit down and just hearing this and going like, oh my God, what is going on with that Marissa woman? Not for everyone. Like, True. Think here. Think here. Do Dude, you... Marissa has such a fucking terrible way of speaking, dude. Think here. If somebody is like, yo, Marissa, you busted. And you go, for you, think about it. What are you talking about? I did think about it. I said you were busted. You really think that every fucking person in the world is attractive? But no. nobody said that, though. Nobody said that, though, Marissa. Nobody. And by the way, if somebody says you busted, they're not saying... They're not saying objectively speaking you're busted unless they say objectively speaking you're busted. They're just saying, yes, for me, you're busted. I think that's pretty much implied if you're dating somebody and they go, hey, do you think I'm pretty? And then you go, yes, I think you're pretty. Do you think that they're referring to the entire spectrum of humanity when they say that? Probably fucking not, right? You probably assume that it's the person saying it is the person saying that they think you're pretty, right? Not the entire, the idea of humanity itself, obvious fucking Lee. No. Duh. Yeah, duh. So why yeah. would why would you expect that I would be attractive for you? Marissa, Marissa's got to calm down, okay? She takes these points way too fucking far, and they don't make any sense. Like, th this is a very weird, this is a very weird take. That's not how it works. Okay. Think a little. Okay. Broaden your horizons. Think that there's more perspectives in the fucking world. I am so tired of people being stupid. True. Like, oh. Just think a little. Okay, Marissa. Just think that I'm Dude. I'm not the one for you. Dude, Marissa going on a 30, 40 second tirade here over somebody saying, I think you're ugly is crazy, bro. She She's really insecure. And not only is she insecure, she got that main character syndrome. Everything got to be around her. Everything got to be about her, dude. And she takes it way too fucking far, bro. Why are you going this hard? Why is it this hard for you? I don't need to get you hard. Damn, like, Marissa, what are you doing? Why is this a claim for you? Why are you going this hard? Nobody gives a fuck, bro. Damn. It's okay. Go find someone else then. Instead of fucking... Dude, do you think that anybody's like upset? Like they're looking at you and going, this fucking woman, this fucking woman is not hot for me. She's not giving me erections. She's not making me hot. She's not making me, she's not giving me rises in my Levi's or whatever, dude. She's not, oh, this is gross. You think that's what, the, you think that's what it is? Or do you think that maybe that person was just being mean? Okay. It's probably, the, it's probably that, right? Telling me that I don't do that for you. Like, I don't get that. You don't get when people say mean things to you on the internet? Okay. Just go find someone. Oh, wait, you can't. Oh, damn. Oh, I Sick burn, dude. Oh, she got that one. That, that came out of nowhere, too. That. Just go find someone. Oh, wait, you can't. Oh, I see now. I see. I see. Okay, thank you for listening. That's all my bitching for this morning, and I'm done pushing. So have a great day, everyone. <laughs> and don't be like these dumb fucker people that I'm... No, no, you know what's really crazy is that none of these people that she commented on were even bad. Like... 
if somebody hits you with your ugly, that's probably the worst one, but even that's like whatever. And then all the other ones were like really nice. So, I mean, it's not even bad, man. Preferring to, okay? Thank you. Let's see if this gets deleted because I am trying to insult people, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Ugh. We'll see. Okay. Have a great day, everyone, except for the people that I referenced. You guys can have a bad day, but everyone else can have a good day. Thanks. Especially if you're not stupid. She was taking a shit that whole time, by the way. She was really busting that shit down. Okay. Thanks. Have a good one. I hope she wipes. So, first of all, the post that you're commenting this on actually says that my existence does not mean that I want your unwanted health advice. Do something about the size before you become a burden on the health system. I think Marissa lives in Canada, right? I'm pretty sure Marissa lives in Canada. And in Canada, I believe the healthcare system is subsidized, right? The government sponsors healthcare for the most part. I don't know if there is privatized healthcare. Somebody can let me know down below in the comment section, but I'm pretty sure that it is pretty sure it is subsidized. So technically the taxpayer would have to pay for your health conditions that you are imbuing upon yourself because you're fat. And that's going to 100% give you more health conditions compared to if you were not fat. So this person is definitely right. I don't know if this person is doing like a oatmeal mask or something like that, or maybe they just have a skin condition right now. I don't know what's going on, dude. Um, I'm not going to comment on anything else. Maybe somebody else can comment on it, but I'm not. Okay. I'm just not. Marissa's beautiful. Okay. Really, really beautiful. But they're, they're, oh, man, look at that shot right there. Marissa has a way just always looking crazy. No matter what the circumstance, it's always like any shot you pause at. It's crazy. It's always crazy. Have a good one. So first of all, the post that you're commenting this on actually says that my existence does not mean that I want your unwanted health advice. But you're making videos on the internet, so you have to assume that there's going to be people that are going to give you unhealthy. Okay, whatever. So thank you so much for doing the complete opposite of what my video says. Now, my second point, as someone who really relates to the PDA profile of autism, which is pathological demand avoidance, guess what, buddy? Pathological demand avoidance. Okay. I think it's so cringy when people just point out they have mental illnesses. Like, it's it's fine if you have them. It's like, I mean, it's obviously it's not a good thing in the sense of like, I don't think anybody would want to have a mental illness. But I'm saying like, it's a thing that people have to live with. It is what it is, right? Like, if you have a mental illness, don't feel bad about it. But I just, I just really don't like it when people go like, oh... I, I like, oh, I hope you know that like I'm autistic and you're saying this to an autistic person. You're like, bro, what the fuck? What the fuck are you talking about? You talk all that shit and then you just bring up that you're autistic. Like, it's just like, what you know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's gross. Like, it, it's just like, why would you say it's basically like a get out of jail free card basically for these people, man. Of autism, which is pathological demand avoidance. Guess what, buddy? This is a surefire way to make me stay fat. Dude, Marissa, if you just want to be fat, that's fine. Like, you can go ahead and stay fat. I don't I don't care if you're fat. The problem is, like, all the shit you're saying is crazy. You're literally making ginormous claims that have no little to no value in, 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 in reality. And then you're blaming all of your problems on everybody else. It, it's, just, it's just agonizing. It's just agonizing. You can't sit there and go, you giving me these comments are making me fatter. So what are we supposed to do? Like, you're literally making videos on the internet. You're antagonizing people. You're poking the hornet's nest. And when the hornets strike back, you don't like it. If you can't handle the heat, get out the kitchen. Why are you making videos on the internet if you can't handle the internet? And that wasn't me calling women out. I know there are going to be people who can't handle the heat, stay out of the kitchen because she's a woman. Yes, I'm sexist. No, but obviously you understand what I'm saying here. Like, why are you making these videos? Like, it, it, just ignore it. Just ignore it. That's what it is. Or just get off the internet, Marissa. As long as people are telling me to lose weight, I will literally not do it. Crazy, bro. I mean, like, at that point, you're basically... <laughs> this is like the your mom telling you, like, no, you can't you can't do something. Or like, oh, no, you can't have sex with black guys. And you go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you go, yeah, I can't have sex with black guys. You watch. I'm gonna gangbang all day. BBC's in my mouth all day. Flavoring it up my throat. All that, all that good, delicious seasoned BBC with the lorry seasoning salt and the garlic, the garlic powder on them. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be so great, mom. To spite you. Oh. If you're telling Ooh. me to lose weight, I will literally not do it to spite you you know what this is like this is like somebody going i am going to purposefully starve 
because I know that it's going to hurt the other person. This is like some monster manipulation tactic right here, dude. Have you ever been in a relationship with somebody and maybe you have an argument or maybe something goes down and you guys are now mad at each other and the person goes, in order to for me to prove my point, I'm going to not eat or... <laughs> or I'm going to do something that is gross, or I'm gonna like make your life bad inadvertently by doing something else. That is gross, that is really gross. And sometimes people can get by doing that by not talking about it or not saying it outright, but having Marissa just say it outright is crazy, bro. She's literally saying, I am going to gain weight. I'm going to physically harm myself because you don't want me to. <sighs> Marissa is such a beautiful goddess upon this earth. I mean, where would we be without this beautiful, this beautiful deity? Because of my PDA. Doesn't PDA stand for public display of affection? I, I've never heard that. I'm, it must be like those weird terminologies that we use nowadays. Where I remember back in the day, people used to say like, oh, I have an ED. And then I would be like, oh yeah, erectile dysfunction. Like your dick doesn't work or it curves like this or something like that. That's what I thought. But then it stood for, you know, freaking eating, whatever. And then I... It's like when people used to say YT, right? But I remember people used to be like, oh, yeah, YT women. And I'd be like, oh, YouTube women. Like women on YouTube, right? But no, it's white women. That one doesn't even make sense. So I guess PDA means something else now. I don't know. I don't know why we change up words so drastically and we have these like different ways or whatever. But it's just weird nowadays. Like it's so hard to keep up with everything, okay? I'm like an old man trying to keep up with this shit. Because I don't want to do what other people tell me to do. It checks out. It's that simple. So thank you so much for helping me remain fat. True. Good job, everyone. Now stop telling me what to do. True. I mean, don't tell Marissa what to do because she will literally do the opposite. Fuck. For the millionth fucking time. The visceral fat can be quite concerning health-wise. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. It's time. <laughs> Stop commenting on other people's bodies. Stop giving me unwanted health advice. Stop giving me unsolicited health advice. Stop commenting on my body. You follow me, yet you're being fat phobic. True. Being fat phobic and giving fat people unwanted health advice when they never fucking asked for it, guess what? Causes stress. And what does stress do? Make people keep on the weight. I'm at least 50 pounds heavier Damn. than I was when I started TikTok. Damn. And because of all of the bullying, it's, I am fatter now. It's not it's not because of you. It's not because you ate more. It's not because it's it's everybody else, huh? It's not you. You gained 50 extra pounds not because you ate more, but because people said mean things to you on the internet? Huh. Some ain't checking out. Some it kind of it's kind of weird. I don't know. So to me, I always kind of assumed that if you gained weight, it wasn't because somebody said something mean to you, but it was because you did something else. Usually, you ate a little bit more. Usually, that's usually where I would go. But I guess for Marissa, she didn't do that. And she just existed. And she just gained weight because people were saying mean things. Huh. You see what I'm saying? It's always somebody else's fault. It's not because she ate more. It's not because she did something. No, 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 no. She gained weight because of everybody else. She has always, she always finds a way to externalize all her problems. It's never her fault. And that is the, that's the sign of, a, of somebody that can't handle reality. Somebody that should not be on the internet. Somebody probably should be having severe, uh, probably going to therapy and working on this shit. Cause like if this person has some severe mental health issues right here. I was when I started TikTok and because of all of the bullying, I am fatter now. True. Have my eating habits changed? Yes. That is a fact. I, you cannot, you cannot, Marissa, your eating habits, if you gained 50 extra pounds compared to where you were, yes, your eating habits have changed. Literally no. Beautiful. I mean, there's nothing else to say about this. This woman is on some different shit. She cannot, I don't this woman is literally denying reality. This woman is literally denying the rules of thermodynamics to prove a point. It's everybody else's fault. I can't, do you think I'm dumb, Marissa? Do you think that I'm stupid? That I can't put two plus two equals three? Huh? You think that I can't do that? So again, for the millionth fucking time, stop commenting on my body and stop giving me unwanted health advice. All of you and you today are causing me mental and physical harm. Get off the internet. Get off the internet. Get off the internet. Get off the internet. If this is that big of an issue for you, if you're literally telling me that these are problems and you can't stop the problems from happening because it's the internet, get off of the internet.
that's really what it comes down to. You cannot handle it. It's not plausible for you to be on the internet, and that's okay. Certain people, maybe, for instance, can't handle having credit cards. Some people look at credit cards and they think, this is my money. I applied for this credit card and they gave me $10,000 of, of credit limit, right? This is my money. This is, not the, this is not the bank's money. This is not the credit card's money. No, no, this is my money. And then they use the money like it's their money. That's you, but with the internet. Some people can't handle credit cards. Some people can't handle the internet. You cannot handle the internet. You're taking literal, not even criticism, and you're taking it as criticism, and you're blaming all of your problems on everyone else and never you. It's not plausible, Marissa. It's literally not plausible. You have to take yourself away from the internet. It's too easy for you to do this. And you today are causing me mental and physical harm. Stop it. Fat phobia is not welcomed on this page for the millionth fucking time. So either unfollow me or I will block you. Now True. have a good day. Get that ass banned, bro. Get that fucking ass banned, dude. Beautiful. Marissa's a beautiful specimen of human being. I love her. She's amazing. Look at that thumb. Look at that. Oh, oh, that's got to be in the thumbnail somewhere, right, dude? Oh, man. It's, it's just, it's so great. It's so great to never take accountability for, like, any of your actions ever. And always blame it on somebody else because it's easier to do that. And these people might be thinking that it's, oh, my life sucks perpetually because everybody always does all these problems with me, right? All these, everybody, everybody always says mean things to me and it's never my fault. And they always think that it's like crazy, right? They always think like, oh man, this is hard. My life is hard because everybody else treats me this way. No, your life is easy. You literally found a way to take away the problems that you could take, the problems that you have, and you're putting those problems on everybody else. You're living an easy life. That's a weak mentality version of what you should be actually doing. You're literally taking away your own accountability. That's easy, okay? Don't think that you're strong because you're acknowledging that other people are saying mean things to you. You are weak, Okay, because if you were a strong person, you would not be on the internet. You wouldn't be taking the criticism as as much as you were. You'd be seeking out help instead of making these videos and telling people that they are the problem when you are the one in signifying you are the ones literally making the issues arise. But whatever, man. I love Marissa. I really do, bro. There's just, just somebody. This, 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 you know, in all speaking, I'm, I'm going to be honest here. Marissa is the worst one out of all the fat acceptance people. Bar none. There's no one below her. There could be people that say worse misinformation. There could be people that say literal, disgusting, just, you know, fat supremacy type shit. Marissa, the worst. Just because of the way she talks, just because of the, the non-accountability, the non-logic, the blaming on everybody else, never, never looking, never looking inwards and always looking outwards and then blaming everybody else on that. There's no one else. There's no one else worse than her. But anyway, guys, we're getting in the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate it for everybody to leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video. Helps me grow in the algorithm. So if you could do any of that stuff for me, I'd appreciate you tremendously. I want to thank everybody that's a subscriber already, everybody that's a member. We do live streams on the channel probably almost every day with the exception of the weekdays. So I think, no, not the weekdays, Monday and Tuesday. Sorry, Monday and Tuesday, usually don't do live streams. So if you see me right now, I'm probably live because 6 p.m. till like 10 I am streaming, PEST, by the way. So if you want to tune in and talk and do stuff, we're doing a whole bunch of stuff. We're hanging out. But anyway, you're a beautiful specimen of human being. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in light, L-I-G-H-T, because I feel like this woman should have a light above her head that's just constantly going out. Like she has a thought and then it just disappears. It just stops lighting up because this woman is lacking so much mental capacity. I mean, I, she has a very... She can talk well. She has a good way with literacy and things such and so forth. But she, the way she puts things together is insane. Is is literally insane. But anyway, guys, um, light. <laughs> Tell me know how much of a beautiful person you are. And you're the light of my life. You're the light of my life. You make my day even better all the time. And even if you say something mean to me, and even if you say that I look like a, a hairless chimp uh, or a hairless chimp or a hairless, uh, let me think about it iguana like a hairless iguana do iguanas have no they don't uh what a chickmunk like let's say a hairless chickmunk if you put in the comment section that i look like a hairless chickmunk i would still appreciate you because you're an amazing person and i know deep down you're you're still beautiful you're still amazing i know you're drinking all that water to lubricate yourself to ensure that you're hydrated on a daily basis you're clipping your toenails on time you're wearing deodorant when it calls for it you're washing yourself you're cleansing yourself on a daily basis maybe not every day because sometimes that smell is delightful and it's amazing you don't have to wash every day but i know you take care of yourself and that's amazing thank you for calling me a hairless chimp or a hairless uh, muskrat or whatever 
I know. Thank you. You're beautiful. I accept you. You're amazing. You're you're you're, you're spectacular. If you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, Twitter, Discord. All this stuff will be listed in the description of my channel and the description of this video. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. I love you.